coming to you from the utter mess that is my shed but usually when the shed's a mess it means that something is happening and I'm doing a number of different projects at the minute uh, so that means that all of the cars are filthy uh, <laughs> the black SUV is just covered in mud from a trip to Leeburn and to another family property. What we've been doing is we've always wanted a few chooks so starting to do a little um, three meter by four meter chook pen and the tractor is looking good. I know that I harp on the tractor a fair bit but um, it is a great project and it's just an unusual an unusual thing to have and um, I just love it. can't do a lot in this backyard. I don't really want to drive it around in the yard because it'll tear up the grass too much. So we're just doing little bits and pieces to it and getting it to um, up on the farm. But I'll, I'll, I'll kind of miss it, I reckon, when it's gone up at the farm. So who knows, there might be another little grey Fergie or something arriving here. Just they're not much bigger than a ride on mower. So um, I might have one of those here full time. Just don't tell my wife a little bit to do. But it's just, it's just so good. You know, I, it's just a thing that didn't cost much and it's running, driving, starts, stops. Admittedly, I do have to charge up the battery, the generator, I need to do a little bit more work on that. But diesels only need a battery start they don't need the battery to run and it's missing one eye at the minute I'm rewiring the lights at the minute but as you can see the old magneto or dynamo generator is really good um, I noticed that the wires aren't done properly so I'll redo that but the question mark about this is whether it is a positive ground or a negative ground, and that can make a little bit of a difference. Um, so I just want to get someone in the know, um, my brother out here, to have a look at it. But everything, it, it starts, it does its thing. There's a few little leaks, but it is just, it's just so solid. I've always said that if um, if there's a cyclone here or something, I'll tie the house to this and the house won't blow away. Just everything is just so heavy, so solid. It's great. Also done a little bit of work um, up on the front garden and I'll just show you that. We're up here. Robert's firing up the Chinesium tractor. What a beauty.
we dug out the front garden um, and put that in a few weeks ago. That looks pretty cool. Those are um, plants that'll grow up and clump, so it'll look really good. So many projects on the go though. You'll notice caravan, another project. I just really want to move the caravan up there um, and build a deck around it. And then when it's in its place, there's a couple of windows that I need to replace and need to wire it up properly as well. But the hard work is done. So, talking about a bit more storage, like car storage, because let's face it, there will always be a project car or a project tractor or a project ride on mower or something here. And I'm loathe to sell all my cars. It's kind of like selling your pets, um, something that I don't want to do. And also this mess behind the chook shed and the shed shed. We're going to turn that into a nice garden as well. So, I see my future and it involves a few tip runs. So yeah, that's where we're at. But uh, having fun on holidays, uh, going for drives, hopefully going up to the farm next week for a bit of a camp and uh, take a few things up there to try out, some new equipment that I've got and drive around on the new tractor up there as well. So uh, this is really good. I'm enjoying it, but it'll end, the, the holidays will end fairly fast. So if you like these sort of videos, I like putting them together. I want to put together more of them. Um, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. Thanks very much. Bye for now.